recording right my name is david collins my name is ati van biren we're making 90 second video on the training why would anyone want to do the training ati um sure so i guess the training is uh is a way well for me in my experience the training was a way for me to empower myself to want to help others so my initial instinct for doing it was i'm a helper i want to help others i want to help others and through the course of the training and developing as a coach over the last few years what i've learned is that the best way to do it is to take the responsibility off of me and allow other people to empower themselves to start living the life of their dreams which gets me to help but not in the sense that it used to burden me. okay so the reason i put the training together is i wanted everyone to be able to get access to the joys of uh, recovery and what uh, recovery is to each individual i but i i know that uh, recovery from um any kind of pandemic yeah, which is uh, addiction is a pandemic, is a process, and that uh, our way of training and teaching people is really effective in helping the individuals uh, take responsibility for living the lives that they want to live. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think that was ninety seconds? I don't think so. Well, it was one minute, 50 seconds. You want to I try again? Should. You think you should try again? Yeah, we can try again. Okay. What do you want me to say? What, what, what am I supposed to say? Well, I, I, I guess, I mean, the, the hardest thing about selling something is to try and sell something that you don't believe in. And I completely believe in this. So it's really easy for me to sell because I just know how how good and helpful it is. Yeah. Um, it's so so I could talk about this all the time. I know it works, but I hate trying to convince someone that uh, this will be beneficial for them if they if if they don't really like want it. But how would people know they want it if they don't know what it is? Well, that's what the hard part is. Yeah. So and maybe it should sound, maybe if it's a, it should sound something like this: If you're ready for an adventure uh, and you want to try a whole complete new way of dealing with things, then our training is definitely for you. Okay. So if you're ready for a personal adventure, in yes, the yes, how you to make it? make it more uh, easy for you to support others in changing their lives that i would definitely yeah that i would definitely support yeah. yeah and i mean we've been working with the australian guys for five years and i can definitely see change for individuals there that have gone yeah. up run out to build their own practices or just make changes in their own lives yeah, yeah. Uh, so the, one, the biggest the biggest benefit the biggest benefit i got from from the from the training was um learning how to listen to myself or learning how to listen in general it's empowered me so much in most things it, it's not just in my career, but in every single role I have to play. It's like completely the thing that's wiped everything else. And it's the one thing that I didn't know I didn't have. Okay. Well, that for makes me, it is, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a set of tools that have really empowered people that start off with listening that have yeah. created empowering conversations that have created systemic change for individuals and those people around them. But to be quite honest, sometimes that systemic change isn't for the best for, for everyone. 
Yeah. yeah. So somebody might not be living the life of their dreams. They might be in a relationship that they don't want to be in. They come and do the training and then they get out of their relationship, for example. Yeah. Or they get out of a job that they don't like. I don't know if we're doing a very good job at selling this. Yeah. But, but one thing is that uh, we certainly practice authenticity. We put both uh, practices in our own lives. Um, we both got a whole lot of evidence. Um, yeah. How do you think we do the salesman? I, I don't know. I'm not the best salesman. So when Goody asked for me to make a video, I was like, Fish, I don't know if my video is going to work. Yeah, I, I, I was the same. <laughs> yeah. I was the same. Okay. Well, who are we trying to appeal to? Well, I'd say we're trying to appeal to um, professional workers, I guess, okay. professionals in their field. Yeah. That want to upskill themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So I would support that. Um, I would also say that this is just an introduction. Yeah, it's an introduction training where we're not trying to upsell you onto the next level. You know, yeah. join this introduction training and then upsell. That's not our cup of tea. Uh, we do have an offering that people can, you know, invest more into, but it's not like one of those things. You've, look under your floor, you've got an envelope, you've won a car. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, um, I don't know, part of, part of it is like, so if I talk to people and I'm like a coach, I had a discussion with another guy the other day. It's like, okay, there's so many coaches out there. What makes you a, a good coach? And then I thought about it. It's like when I see online people that sell coaching, it's always like this big sales pitch. It's like get this and then you get this free. And then I don't think our training is that though. No. I think our training is different. I've thought about maybe to call it something else than coaching. But anyways, that's, that's another discussion. Well, what our training does do is it does give you theory. So, so it's under, so there's a lot of theory that underpins everything. Yeah, and then it gives you a lot of practical experience. So you get practice. You get your own personal growth. There is a certification path if you choose to do that, which will give you an international accreditation that's recognized um, and those are all kind of add-ons mm. yeah if people yeah. want to, to make a career out of this um, but I guess the people that really need to sell the training for us are the people that have done the training mm. yeah and how it's helped them so for example Buddy who's a doctor, it's really improved the way he interacts with his patients. That's why I put Calm Line together. Um, and I know uh, Beth, for example, in, uh, with, with, with her meditation practice, it's really helped her working with her clients. Sophie, who's working with peak in recovery, it's certainly benefited her in dealing with her clients so i think we should rather try and get those guys to sell it for us but all we want to do is invite people to the introductory and uh and to to have a feel what it's like to get an experience and uh to make a decision from there yeah i agree with that that feels authentic to me. That feels honest. Yeah. Um, and exciting. All right. Let's wrap it up there. That is 10 minutes.
let's see, let's, let's, let's send it to them and they can scream and shout at us and say it's complete rubbish. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll, we'll try again later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patsy. All right, Much David. Love, love you. Listen, listen, but in, in in your family life, in your own personal life, in yep. summary, what's, what's the biggest thing you've got gotten out of this? Out of the training? Yeah. The biggest thing I've gotten out of the training. Um, well, I, I've. I feel like I've empowered myself to make decisions that is authentic and suit me um, for my own way forward. So I can be authentic and myself, where previously I struggled with that. I used to be more like a people pleaser and do what everyone else wanted me to do. So that and the ability to listen to others around me, was, I'd say it's definitely the two biggest things. Because previously I'd say a lot of things, but and do a lot of things that I thought was helpful, but I didn't really listen to people to find out what it is they really were saying. So I'd say those are the two big things. And what's the biggest thing your clients have received? What is the biggest things my clients get? You're breaking up, David. Yeah, but what, what's one of the biggest things your clients get? What's the feedback you get from your clients? So my clients naturally get my um, my encouragement, and um, I feel that most feedback that I get from people is like, wow, I have never been asked that question, or wow, I've never thought about that. So I guess they get an opportunity to be asked questions that they normally never think about. So in that way, the their mental focus has to shift away from the problem or whatever they focus on into a different direction. So get, they get the freedom of new thoughts. The freedom of new thoughts. I like that. All right. Let's All right. See <coughs> love you, David. Much love, Ati. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.